what's up here i'm manish from rebellionrider.com and i'm back once again with another sql tutorial and today's sql tutorial is about primary key in oracle database if you want to have in-depth knowledge of primary key or want to read some theory and make some notes then visit my website i have explained everything about primary key here i mean everything don't worry about the link link is in the description below so primary key there are two type of primary key first is simple primary key primary key which involves only one column and second is composite primary key primary key which involves more than one column we will start with simple primary key you can create primary key either with create table statement or by using alter table statement let's define simple primary key using create table statement with create table statement we can either define primary key at column level or at table level we will start with defining primary key at column level using create table statement for that we will create a table by name of product master execute You just have to put keyword primary key after data type and size of a column while defining a column of a table. Here Oracle server will create a primary key on product ID with default constant name which will be slightly difficult to understand. You can give your own name to your constant which is also a good practice. Let's see how. Let's recreate the product master table. For that we have to drop this product master table. Okay, let's recreate it. Execute. Here constant is a keyword pmstr underscore pid underscore pk which is a user defined constant name you can give whatever you want I just specified pmstr for table name product master pid for column name product id and pk for primary key I prefer and recommended this way of defining a constant because constant name will be a big help when you want to refer a constant for the purpose of deleting modifying or checking constant in data dictionary we just saw how to define a primary key using create table at column level. Now we will see how to define a primary key constant using create table at table level. To read more about this visit my website www.rebellionrider.com slash sql dash primary dash key dot htm. Let's see and let's create another table this time with the name of order master. execute here we will first define all the column of a table without any constant and after that we define our constant here constant is a keyword and ord mstr oid underscore pk is a constant name it's user defined so you can specify whatever you want and primary key is our constant which is also a keyword and mind here that after primary key we put column name over which we want to define primary key constant in parenthesis that's how we define primary key constant at table level. Now we will see how to define primary key constant using alter table statement. We define primary key constant or any other constant using alter table when we already have a table and we want to put constant on that. Here we are altering a table and putting a constant. To illustrate this, first we have to create a simple table. After creating a table, we will alter it to put primary key constant. Okay, let's create a table by the name of customer. execute 
Customer is just a table with three fields, cust ID, cust name and phone number. As of now as this table has no constant, to define a primary key constant on this table we have to alter it for which we will use alter table DDL statement. Say we want to put a primary key constant on cust ID column, for that we will execute Alter table is DDL statement where customer is our table name. As we want to add constant, thus add constant. Cust underscore CID underscore PK is user defined constant name. Primary key is the constant and cust ID in parenthesis is the column from customer table over which we want to put primary key constant. Now, if we talk about composite primary key, the primary key defined using more than one column is called composite primary key. We will define composite primary key at table level using create table. Let's try. Again, we will create our customer table. For that, we have to drop the previous customer table first. Now, let's create it again, but this time with composite primary key. execute here again we define all our column first and then at the end we define composite primary key on cust id column and phone number column as you can see constant is a keyword cust underscore cid underscore pk is user defined constant name i'll show you just in a second how and where to use constant name as we are defining composite primary key so i took out two columns cust id and phone number however you can take up to 32 columns now let's see how to define composite primary key using alter table statement but before that we have to drop primary key constraint from our customer table thus i will first show you how to drop primary key constraint now here we will use user defined constraint name for dropping a constraint so here on our customer table we have composite primary key constraint with the name of cust underscore cid underscore pk to drop this execute ddl alter table statement as execute oh sorry i forgot to specify the table name now execute table customer altered that's it so we just drop a primary key constant from customer table we now have customer table without any constant okay let's see how to define composite primary key using alter table for that just write let's again make a constant with the same name okay execute alter table is a ddl customer is our table name add constant is what we want to do with our table cust underscore cid underscore pk is constant name and we are using cust id and phone number column for defining composite primary key similarly you can enable primary key constant or disable primary key constant to know how to do that visit my website link which is in the description below you can also learn about data dictionary related to the constraints what are they and how you can use them i have explained everything here on this page so do pay a visit and read this article i sincerely hope you will enjoy reading that's it for today hope you enjoyed watching please like and subscribe and you can also help me reach out to more people by sharing my video with your friends on your social networking we'll see you soon with another interesting sql tutorial this is manish